Measuring wave speed. In order to measure the speed of a wave, we need to know two things. We need to know the frequency of the wave, which is measured in hertz, and we need to know the wavelength of the wave, which can be measured in millimeters, centimeters, or meters. In order to calculate the frequency of this wave, we need to calculate how many waves pass point X in one second. Now, to count this will be very difficult. So, to get around that, I'm going to count how many waves pass point X in 10 seconds and divide the answer by 10. I will start that now. Okay, I get that to be six waves in 10 seconds. That gives me 0.6 waves a second. So the frequency of this wave is 0.6 hertz. To figure out the wavelength of the wave, I need to measure the distance between two exact points. What do I mean by that? Well, if I pause my wave and use the ruler below, and I compare this part of this wave to the exact same point on the next wave, that will give me my wavelength. I could measure from peak to peak. I could measure from trough to trough. Or I could do what I've done now and use two other points. The wavelength of this wave is 50 millimeters. To calculate the speed of this wave, I now need to times my frequency by my wavelength. So I need to times my frequency of 0.6 hertz by 50 millimeters. That will give me the speed of this wave in millimeters per second. Should I have measured the wavelength to be in meters and not millimeters, the speed of the wave would be calculated in meters per second. And had the wave had a wavelength of centimeters, the speed of the wave will be measured in centimeters per second. Get yourself a calculator and calculate the speed of this wave. The frequency is 0.6, the wavelength is 50 millimeters, and remember your speed will be in meters per second. <laughs>